Hello, it's Linda here from Papercraft with Crafty and today I've got quite a cute little project for you. It's this little mug. Um, ideal for giving a nice chocolate treaty gift to maybe one of your friends. Um, I've seen quite a lot of these mugs around now. Um, the thing that's different I think about my one that I'm going to demonstrate to you today is that I have used the envelope punch board as well as my score, uh, my um, simply scoreboard, um, and that actually gives this this mug quite a nice rounded shape on the bottom. So rather than sitting just completely flat, it's actually got quite a nice little bit of a shape to it going on there. So I'm going to put it to one side and I'm going to show you how I've put it together, and I do hope you enjoy the tutorial. Okay, so for this um, project, I'm going to be using this cardstock, which is the colour is Lost Lagoon by Stamping Up, um, and it measures nine and a half by seven and three quarters. Okay, so with your long side at the top of the scoreboard, you want to make your first score line at one and a half inches, then you want to score at three, then four and a half, six, seven and a half. And nine. Okay, and then you want to flip your card round and you want to score at one and a half and at five and a quarter. Okay, and so once you've done all that, you just need to go around and burnish all of your score lines. Right, so now you've done all your burnishing, um, on the reverse side of your cardstock you want to have six strips of um, decorative paper ready. Um, each of these strips measures three inches by um, one and a quarter. So I've already put three of them on. I'm just going to finish off now applying these. And you want to go fairly up near the top. You don't want to sit them central on this panel because half of, well, the bottom end of this panel is actually going to end up curving under slightly like that. So what you want to do is just apply them fairly near to that score line there. Okay, so that's the panels decorated. Now, what you need to do, if you just turn your card over, we're going to lose this long rectangular piece here. So you're not going to take the short one, you're going to take the long one. Okay, and when you've removed that, you just want to cut yourself out a little wedge here, like that. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to apply some double sided tape now to this strip here. And you're going to apply it all of the way down. Oh no, you're not, no, don't listen to me. Don't apply it all the way down. because what we're going to do now is put this in the envelope punch board. Okay, so taking the envelope punch board, what you want to do is push your card in there so that this score line here is levels up with the centre of that little groove that's down there. Okay, and you're just going to punch these out. So, just going to finish off punching these little sections out here. Okay. Oh, and yeah, you do finally need to do this one here. 
Right, so we've gone ahead and done the punching that we need to do. So now we're just going to start assembling um, the mug. So what you want to do is apply some double-sided tape here. And in fact, don't do what I've done. Don't go right up to this end. You want to come back, leave about half an inch. So you didn't see me do this. <laughs> and do the same along here. So just take your double sided tape all the way to the end. That's the thing about this project, it does actually use up a fair amount of. Um, of double sided tape, but hey. Then what we need to do is fold your card over and so press it down from this end nearly all the way along. Don't go quite to the end yet because what you're going to do is going to take this strip off now. Okay, and you're going to push this in here like this till it all marries up really nicely. And just stick it now all the way down so you can feel it's quite nice, it's quite nice, um, sort of nice and rigid now. Um, and then what you're going to do here is actually, you can, I've decided you don't really need this little bit, so we'll cut him off. He's kind of surplus to requirements because what we're now going to do is slice down each of these like this. So you just go all the way around and you do that. Okay. And so now what I'm going to do is I got myself a reel of um, ribbon here and I'm just going to pop it through here. I just find that when I've got something like that it, it holds the box in the shape that I want it to be rather than me having to sort of fiddle around and bend it. Now what you need to do here, I'll see if I can explain this as well as I need to. I'll zoom in. These bits here are going to come across, they're going to meet each other level, but this bit here, this edge, is going to meet here at this widest part before it starts to taper in. So what you're going to do is stick that across there like that, but nice and straight. So, Taking my double sided tape, I told you this one really does need a fair old bit of tape and sticky strip. And I come across here, go to the widest point there, keep it as nice and straight as you can and then stick it. And then we're going to come across and these are all going to do the same, so they're going to meet at the widest point. He's ever so loud in the other room, isn't it? I had the door shut before the um, before somebody ran my doorbell and ran away. But anyway, I'll just finish this bit off and perhaps I'll go and turn it down. So that one comes across, that's the final one. So go to the widest point on the opposite one, keep it nice and straight. Now what you can do, once you've done this, is perhaps cut yourself out, punch yourself out a circle and just pop it on the base just to neaten it up. So I'm going to remove that now so you can see I've got a nice shape of the mug. Right, so now there are two ways in which you can do the handle for this, this mug. Um, 
for this little handle here I used these ovals um, ovals framelits from stamping up and um, what I used was the smallest one and then not the next one but the one after that and I ran them through my big shot I don't know if you can see that very well has it gone out of focus I ran it through my big shot and I got this okay and then what I did was I put it on my scoreboard um, let me see if I can quickly show you I put it on my scoreboard and I made sure it was nice and straight like this and what I did was I didn't score dead central to the centre of what I took to be the centre point I just ran my stylus down here down to the bottom and then on the other side I ran my stylus again and it came right down here to the bottom so that you end up with those two lines like that and then I just simply folded them in on themselves like that okay now if you don't have ovals framelits it doesn't really matter because you can also use just a strip like this um, and what you could do is cut yourself a strip like this adhere it to the top and come down like that and you've got an equally nice handle right so the handles on and, and all that remains now is really just to um, fill it with something nice so I've just filled a bag full of chocolate goodies decorated it with some whisper white seam binding ribbon um, and then I've just gone ahead and I used this stamp set here which is called Merry Everything okay so this is a great one for Christmas projects because you've got very merry everything to you there's a really nice contemporary looking merry christmas stamp here there's even like a thank you stamp and what with um, halloween coming up on us um, that's going to be one of the next uh, things people are going to be out celebrating there's quite a nice little stamp there um, for halloween and then there's just like an ordinary tag which is really quite useful so I went ahead and I, I um, stamped up a very merry everything on some Whisper White cardstock using Lost Lagoon coordinating um, water-based dye ink. And then once I'd done that, um, I punched it out using this punch here, which coordinates with the set, which is called the note tag punch. And then once I'd done that, I just decided it needed a little bit of embellishing. So I've put some um, little pearls and things on it. Um, just keeping it quite simple really um, and then all it remains for me to do now is to use a couple of dimensionals Oops. on the back like that just to put a nice sentiment on the mug so I think that makes like a nice little Christmas offering you can probably use some bits of silver and whatever on there to make it really quite pretty so there's that version and then there's my other version um, this is done I think I don't know whether I said um, this is done using um, melon mambo no not melon mambo Schufflinder, watermelon wonder cardstock um, and I used coordinating paper here from the 6x6 designer series paper stack called cherry on top um, I used this one, Oh My Goodies stamp set and stamped out that sentiment from it. Um, so that's another version using some really beautiful um, new in colours. Um, and that's just Lost Lagoon, which is last season's new colours. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Um, I hope you like the mugs. Um, give them a go. Love to see how you get on with them. Thank you for joining me for this tutorial. Bye.